But you guys have brought us some changes to the map, three big ones, in fact. So what's the first one? Right, so the first one has to do with visibility. So as we know it, Theme Park is a pretty dark map. But it gets even worse once you start going into Haunted House. Uh, so this creates a few issues. The first one being that it's hard for players to actually find their targets, and it makes it so much easier for the defenders to hide. And also, the defenders do get an advantage for traps. So imagine the frost going on the dark floor when there's no lights. It's pretty hard to find, and that creates a lot of frustrations. Well, in addition to turning on the lights, as you did, that's going to help with navigation, but you made some additional changes to navigation on Theme Park as well. Yes, absolutely. And we're going back to Haunted House again. <laughs> Mistakes were made. And so when you're moving around in Haunted House, uh, it feels kind of a bit like a maze. So there are certain places where you could go left or right, and you're not really sure where you're going to end up. So it makes it very difficult for especially new players to learn the map. Well, you've made it easier in another way as well. Theme Park was a very large map, but you've reduced the size of it. Yes, we have. So, uh, train is what pretty much what makes the map so big. It really contributes to the size of the map. And um, the problem with it is that there are so many hiding spots in that section that even if the uh, attackers would drone out the defenders, it is so easy for them to just go back and hide in another hiding spot at that sp uh, in there. Well, we're taking a look at the map right now, and I notice train is gone completely. The train has left the station. Absolutely, that's very well put. It's gone, it's not coming back. And so the way we did it, we pretty much sliced it up like a cake, removed it, and... Uh, sorry. And we took what was left and we smushed it back together. So that made two pretty good things, which was uh, giving a more reasonable footprint to the map in general, and it also permitted us to make some better connections between the two parts of the building. And yeah, I noticed that the way that you guys have handled areas in the map that you don't like, you just took them right out. But in the case with another area, you've given us something else in exchange. Yes, exactly. Uh, haunted House is no longer Haunted House. It Bye, is goodbye. <laughs> Chinese Castle. And so we have a whole new layout on the first floor with a whole new bomb site, which is um, armory and uh, throne room. And so we simplified the whole layout, which makes it that you can move around so much easier. The flow is so much better. Can't help but notice with the lights on, it's a little easier to appreciate all the artistic work that went into this map. It, it is crazy. Every time that a new map comes out, either a rework or a new map, uh, the artists just prove to us every time the quality of their work. And it's always so breathtaking. In this case, it's, I like to shout out to the lighters. I mean, thanks to them, we're no longer playing hide and seek in the dark in this map. All right, so break it down for me. Those three big changes on Theme Park. Right, so new players are, uh, players are gonna come back. Well, they're gonna be seeing everything, Fantastic. which is really great. Uh, they're gonna have a new bomb, new layouts going on, new rotations, and they're gonna see a more reasonable size for the whole map. Wow. Well, Nicholas, thank you so much for breaking that down. Pleasure. Now, in addition to our theme park rework, we are getting two new operators.